the crew worldwide from Kali to Twitter. Real hardcore fans, boxing ass niggas, consistency cops, police the views. We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose. Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production. Ring gang stay with the best discussions. Yes. Ring gang. But, um, but yeah, but at least this coming weekend, though, we do have an interesting fight card. Hopefully that will take the, you know, that hopefully that will be a lot better than this than, the, than this weekend's card. Uh, this one's from PBC, of all, of all places. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I uh, think the, you know, the main event, obviously, is, you know, Jared Swiffer defending his uh, WBA and IBF you know, uh, light middleweight, super water, however you want to call it, belts, you know, again, Julian J. Rock Williams. Um, before we go into that fight, though, this fight actually has an interesting co-main, you know, the Matt Karabov of, you know, who, of course, last, last time out gave Jamel Charlo all types of hell and probably should have won that fight, you know, but... <laughs> And then, and then he, you know, he he will be facing Emmanuel Lee, who, you know, I won't, you know, who's still who's still a young prospect over there, who's trying to rebuild still after his shocking loss to Hugo Santino Jr. Uh, I think it was a couple of years ago, give or take. Um, so yeah, the Karabov fight. Um, Karabov now, because you know, his point is on the show, but has a fight has. A, you know, has a platform now to really stake a claim as a contender in the middleweight division again, which is kind of weird to actually say because he w- he's been he's been in the middleweight division for a minute. You know, yeah. he I mean, and before I mean, obviously the last time anyone's actually really seen him before that was on HBO, where um, he took the zero of Jose Uskateki and then was winning his fight against Andy Lee before he ran to one of Andy Lee's uh, potent right hooks. And, you know, that was, the, that was the end of his chapter. And then after that, he was pretty much, you know, fighting He, he on- faded into obscurity. You, you caught him again on, like, some random Telemundo or, or one of them when he was fighting Brian Vera. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he put on a good performance. He dropped Vera, like, twice. But then after that, he disappeared again, and he showed up and was piecing up damn Jamal Jamal Tarlo. Yeah, and it's now and now he has this now. Obviously, like I said, a win over Aleem, a young middleweight prospect, will actually you know and, and spectacular will definitely. I mean, I can definitely see PBC will play. Okay, we need a we, we need to feed him to some middleweight, if not, or try to get him back in the ring with Jamal Charlo. Um, and vice versa, we have a Leem who can easily make uh, Charlo look bad if he's able to actually handle Matt Korobov and get this victory. So, so I mean, to me, like I said, I, said, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a crossroads fight, but it has the feel of one. I mean, I don't think it's the end of the road for a Leem if he loses, but for Korobov, it probably is. <laughs> Yeah, it depends out depends on how Corbo loses. If it's if it's a type of Charlo loss where could have gone either way, he had a you know he had some real good moments and you know they might want to jobber him to the stars a bit. Mm-hmm. So it all depends. But if he gets blown out, then yeah, it's yeah, it, it, it's done. It's done, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I am definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to that fight, and then of course we have, you know, Heard versus J Rock. Um, mm. LB, your thoughts on that fight? It's a, it's a pretty good fucking fight right there. Um, I mean, Heard obviously gonna be the favorite because he's the, um, I believe the he's the champ. He has the better, better names on his record, better competition. Uh, Better performances, better highlight reel, just better everything, really. But uh, J Rock is skilled. He got one of the best uh, boxing minds in his corner, and you know he's on the rebound. He's been uh, improving. It's like he's taking the path. He, the path he's taking now is the path that he originally should have taken when he had went up 
for his title shot, his first title shot against uh, Jamal Tarlo. So, you know, after that was there for. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, after that, you know, after getting hit with the, the power stone <laughs> and having to, <laughs> having to reset his career, you know, he, he's made it back. He's got, he, he's earned himself another title shot. And uh, this time he's up against another, another tall order. And I feel like there's a window for him to pull this off. He could definitely pull it off, but he, he's up against it. Like, it, it wouldn't be, it, it'd be no small task. Right. Cause I mean, with Hurt, I mean, Hurt's biggest thing, obviously, is he's a big cat. Like, you know, he's, I mean, he's, he, he probably walks around naturally, like, probably like a small heavyweight, like cruiserweight, small heavyweight. And he boils down to this weight. 154. It's it, it's actually it's, it, to me. I, I just don't understand how he actually does this. I mean, granted, he's a young cat, or well, he's, well I wouldn't say he's a, yeah, he is a young cat. But it's just like how do you how do you boil that frame down to? And it's not like he's just barely being 154. He's like under 154, like 152 type of shit. I know. Like, like what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, they could need to holler at him or Algeri. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, like it, it's like, it's incredible. And I mean, I don't think he's long for 154, for that matter. Um, but yeah, Heard is like I say because when, when he comes to fight night, he's big and he takes shots. Like he walks through each other. I mean, people say Golovkin walks through each other. No, Golovkin can actually slip and punch. Heard doesn't do any of this shit at all. <laughs> he, he 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 catches these spades and walks you and walks down like you know he's like I mean people call him like the Black Margarita. You know, but even Margarito can slip shots too. I've seen, I've seen him like I don't see her any of these goddamn shots. Nah, the thing is, heard heard parries. Yes, yeah. he slips a few. He's crafty in there. Like I, I think a lot of y'all niggas be just over overlooking that the craft that heard display. Heard is crafty as fuck on the inside, and when he's coming forward now. Of course, there's levels to craftiness. I'm not saying he's fucking Roberto Duran. I'm not saying he's fucking um, um, uh, Roman Gonzalez. Mm. But, you know, he has a craft to his approach. He yeah. does slip some shots. He does parry and block some shots. He, but he just does it really, really subtly, so it's really hard to see him actually do it. He does a bit more yeah. of like kind of what the old school fighters used to do. So it's kind of like almost, almost kind of like, you know how like Foreman would like seem like he's taking a lot of punishment, but he isn't. Right. So well, it, yeah, it's I mean, Foreman kind of like picked up the cross arm in his later career, you know. I mean, of course, until he got a little lazy, then he was actually catching some shots. <laughs> the upper cuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, but her, I mean, like I said, her, and pretty much the, that's the thing with her. I mean, her does take a good amount of punishment because a his stamina is is pretty damn good you know ridiculous. like he he wears niggas out like trout who had never been stopping before trout was worn out hitting him it's very rare where you could actually see like a status effect and you're the one attacking but it's affecting you yeah that's exactly what it was i mean trout could barely stand it wasn't even like Heard was hitting him that hard. It was just Trout was still worn out. <laughs> you know, it was just, and it, it, like I said, I mean, it wasn't like, because I know Trout was close on the cards. Like, I mean, I think he was down maybe by two points or whatever. It was, he was still on the card, but he was just so worn out. And, yeah. it, and the same thing with Tony Harrison, too. Same thing. Well, or Tony Harrison does have poor stamina. You know, that's, you know, so it was only a matter of time. That, that but her carries you fast, though. That's the thing. Her carries you fast. See, a lot of see what, what people mess up with her. They let her get that momentum. So yeah, they're they're back foot boxing his ears off, and there's they might be sitting on their shots, but they're moving away from her, man. The guy that is gonna fuck up her is the guy that's gonna sit on their shots and push fucking her backwards. And this some and this happens somewhat. At December, when Hurd came back from came back from his shoulder surgery against uh, Jason Wellborn. Now, uh, uh, like I said before, like because he didn't look good. Like he got pushed around by an actual middleweight. Like you know, someone who's a, who's a who's a middleweight that went down, and he got hurt by him too. And Wellborn is not a puncher. 
at all. So that that, that kind of had me stroking my chin for a minute. And then, of course, Hurd bailed himself out with a rare early knockout when he hit him in the stomach. You know? <laughs> I mean, granted, I mean, granted, I thought that dude was fine enough, but it was, you know, but I guess he was like, you know what, fuck the bullshit. You know, let me just get this check and get up out of here. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looked like that the way he put him out. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. too bad. You know, my shoulder feels all right. I, I'll, I'll put him away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I mean, with J Rock, I mean, J Rock's uh, punch resistance. I mean, he does take a good shot. I mean, but it's just, I guess the, just the, just him seeing his performance against Charlie, where he got knocked down by a jab, and then. You know, got hit with the power stone via uppercut. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, Charlo hits fucking hard, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> like there was nothing he could do once he ate that uppercut. The way he flopped down and he was still trying to throw his hook on the way down. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, he he, he was just Damn. Yeah, and so I mean, J Rock the twice looking at that. I was like, ah, oh, shit, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Yeah, Charlo hurts everybody. Yeah. Like, who hasn't been hurt by Charlo? He's got that Darnell Boone power. Well, um, let's see. Who has it? Well, no. I mean, he didn't really hurt Trout that much either. <laughs> I mean, like, man, he, yo, he, Trout was, he didn't visibly hurt Trout, but you know he hurt Trout. <laughs> yeah. You seen when his body would just settle on some of those shots that, that Charlo was hitting him with. Like, his, his whole gravity would just settle itself, bro. Like, it wasn't no visible, like I give you, but and you know Trout fucking tough though, so yeah, Trout's a tough. I, guy. I give you that, yeah. You know, but uh, well, yeah, I mean he does, you know, yeah, Trout does hit both Trout. Well, no, well, actually though, no, only only Maul does. You know, hits pretty hard. Um, so J Rock himself, I mean, I, I in order for J Rock to actually win this fight, he's going to obviously he's gonna have to bank the early rounds. He's gonna really have to bank the early rounds. Um. Without expending himself, right? Because J Rock too, because he, because I've seen him in the fights with Ishe Smith and Gallimore. He got, you know, he he cut his his work rate faded. He got he he, he got gassed out. So that's going to be a thing. Um, you can't get gassed out with her. You cannot. Um, her may not put you away early, but he'll put you away late. That's for damn sure. <laughs> And he tries to, so it's not one of those like, yeah, he's gonna try. It's no, he's gonna fucking try. Exactly, you know, and that's one of the things, and, and that's one of the things Jerox got to do. Like Jerox is gonna have to at least, in order for him to have a, have a shot on the card, is gonna have to win at least a clear seven rounds, seven at least, you know. And not- he got a good right hand. Like I feel like if he was. Throw some variations on that right hand and step into it. He could he could be some problems for her. Like he could really, you know, because he's really because Rock's uh, uh, reflexes are good too. Because in that Charlo bout, they was countering counters, going just back and forth like high level boxing. They were. It, just, it, only, it only lasted for like five rounds because he couldn't. You know, Charlo just kept, you know, just cycling power moves on his ass, and he, he couldn't withstand them six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, uh, so yeah, I mean, that we, so we get, you know, hopefully J-Rock does have a, like, a solid plan. Like, he's going to have to get on his bike, because her does move, you know, he doesn't have to move. I don't think her doesn't really circle at all. I mean, he just moves in with one very straight line. Um, but he cut off that ring, though. <laughs> yeah, he'll cut off the ring. Look, yeah, you can't let you can't let him go to the body. You gotta keep moving. You know that's the thing. I mean, stick and move. I mean, Trout had Trout had the strategy. Well, actually, I can't say that because Trout, Harrison, both were doing it. Like they both had strategy, they just got worn out. So same thing with Laura. Even Laura couldn't move as one as much as he wanted to, and and he still got worn out because. These guys are punching, punching herd while going away. Like we gotta punch herd going. Yeah. Back. Like it just no, showed. Oh that, that's just like me personally. That's how I would attack you. Although, although I did think. I mean, Laura did stand his ground more, more frequently than than, than the other two. I mean, herd. Like, I mean, yeah, Laura blast like, with, with, with left yeah, He's a better puncher too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
and this is and this is where it got solidified where like oh yeah Hurts is taking them punches like he was just, he was moving forward and taking punches and like when Laura has never been close to being KO'd he was almost KO'd by her he was yeah. very close you know and some so, Angulo uh, flashbacks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Angulo didn't even have him like on, on the stinky leg like that. Like her legit had him in the Phantom Zone halfway or some shit. Yeah, man. I mean, and then of course Laura, like he, instead of going on his bike, Laura really like you know you know threw himself at him like it was a thing to do. Which, which of course, why that fight won fight of the year because it was just so dramatic. You know. Uh, I mean, but I right, look at this though. Think about it. Somebody puts you in a in a twenty by twenty room and puts you in there with fucking Michael Myers. <laughs> How long are you gonna fucking run in circles? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you you go end up fighting his ass, right? I, I would hope so. <laughs> I mean, your, your big ass that, that ain't shit for you. You you about you you probably bigger than Michael Myers. Fuck that. <laughs> you could knock down the wall, make the room bigger. Like <laughs> your PJ gonna be one boxing this nigga. <laughs> Not no choice. <laughs> but yo, uh, what, what's your prediction though? Uh, to me, I think uh, I, I I actually think I think her will I think her will knock him out late. Like I think her will probably stop him by like ten or eleven. <laughs> Nigga, that's the best. That's the best prediction in boxing besides Canelo by decision. <laughs> Heard by late knockout. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's I, like and a guarantee. That's it, not that's like on J Rock. Well, like I said J Rock. One of J Rock's weaknesses is his stamina. And I I saw it with. I mean, I saw it with E.J. Smith and Nathaniel Gallimore fight. I still remember those fights. And I was just like, I just, and they're like, if you're gonna gas up with those two, and I, I just, I, I, I'm sure it's gonna rare its head with her. I mean, unless her has a total fuck up, as in either he cuts his weight wrong or something of that nature, I just don't, I just don't see any other way. He cuts his weight in an undisclosed location. That's why he's able to boil down so much. <laughs> nah, nah. The Avengers actually show up when her need them. <laughs> but he's <laughs> They don't send the B squad. No. <laughs> Captain America, all of them, like the the the, the A squad. <laughs> they ain't just saying, see, see J- Jacobs, them niggas sent Ant Man, Wasp, <laughs> maybe Black Widow. Right. <laughs> For how much worse she is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they dare. <did>. Oh. <laughs> But uh, hopefully, though, that we do get a good fight out of this too. Like, I mean, I mean, like I said, I mean, cause one of the, I mean, cause in the fact that usually I would probably, you know, if PBC, I would think they're underachieving with the matchmaking. I have not said a, I have not said a negative word about this card, and uh, so that, that, so that, that's actually a plus. Now, some other PBC cards that are coming up that that, that they have lined up, you may hear some negativity because I don't like them. <laughs> But this this card I do like, um, so yeah. It's hopefully, and, and I believe this is fight is going to be on FS1. It's not going to be on Fox. Huh? Okay. I thought this was actually regular Fox. I thought I think it's FS1. Hold on, let me double check that. And I can't have our listeners. You know, they say, "Oh, Ask Crew said yeah, this shit is on five, uh, uh, FS1, but it's on Fox, or vice versa." You know what I'm saying? I can't be lying. I can't be lying out here. I am Pat Scorpio, the representative. Oh yeah, so, so PJ, uh, what's what? So what round does her take over and get the KO for you? Oh, it's on Fox. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, regular. Okay, yeah, word, regular Fox. Regular Fox. Word. So PJ, what, what, 11, 12, what, ten? PJ, why are you so damn quiet? Oh, hold on, the the the, un, the undisclosed location probably having some technical difficulties. Yeah. But um, I guess um, my my prediction, I I, I think, uh, damn man, I want to go out on a limb, man. Almost want to say, uh, hurry, get him out of there even earlier, like maybe round seven. <laughs> but 
but uh, I, yeah, I heard by KO. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I, I'd say, I, you know, J Rock is cool and all, but like I said, he's not, he's, I mean, he, J Rock is an actual 154 pounder. Like, let's, let's put it like that. Like, I mean, he's, he, he's a Laura in terms of his build. Like, you know, he's not, he's built for 154. Heard, heard, you know, if it should be that I probably have 168, really. <laughs> You know, but um, yeah, I, I just, I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I think size would be too much. Would be way too. I think much. her could probably fuck with one sixty, but one sixty eight, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, let's see how he look at, you know, at one sixty when he eventually get the one sixty. Oh, oh, that one sixty, that, that one sixty life is coming, like. I just, I mean, cause I know her. I know her wanted to, I mean, unify. I mean, I think even after this fight, if he, if he retains against J Rock, you know, he wants to go after, um, I guess, whoever's the winner between the rematch between Tony Harrison and uh, Jamel Charlo, uh, which is, which is, which is, I think it's next month too. And I mean, obviously now, obviously, I mean, we we all want the Charlo. I mean, the Charlo. Her fight is the selling is the sell is the is the sell point, um, and of course her has already been Harrison took his IBF. Uh, that's why he won the IBF belt. Um, so, yeah, I mean it's very. I see. Okay, we gotta see a unification at one fifty four for her move up. Yeah, exactly. I mean he's unified, but he needs to unify it some more. And PJ, yeah, yeah, here you are. Yeah. You're back. Yes. So LB asked you a question. Yeah. Well, what was the question? Uh, what round? Because I think Pat said round ten, right? Yeah, oh, ten yeah. or eleven. <laughs> and when Hurd's gonna scrub him? Is <laughs> 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 I mean, I didn't say all that. I mean, has some tact, gentlemen. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we'd talk real here. <laughs> yeah, that's we do. True. We do. <laughs> We're just polite sometimes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, for her, uh, J Rock, it honestly, I also think it will probably be a late stoppage, if not a decision, because I'm fairly certain like J Rock is gonna like at least uh, well try and approach it as smart as he can for how much Herd keeps coming forward. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with decision. I'm gonna go with the same. I'm gonna go with the same that just say decision. My decision, oh, oh, that's 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 a bold decision. You think it's gonna go the distance? Okay, decision. Wow. I hope it's gonna go the distance. <laughs> I, I and, mean, yo, J Rock is gonna land that right hand, and it's gonna it's gonna do some problems on her. But I, I think he just gonna get overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I, 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 yo, I'm gonna yo fuck it. I'm gonna say 12th round KO. I'll change my shit from the seventh to twelve. Word. I, you know, we all sound really sinister the way we're making these choices. <laughs> <laughs> we do, but it is what it is, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it is, honestly, it is what it is. Like this is the thing, man. <laughs> Niggas hyped up J Rock before going into the Charlo fight. <laughs> A lot because of the reputation of his trainer. Mm-hmm. So a lot of niggas was thinking like, damn, his trainer got that super boxing mind. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe that imparts to J-Rock. But nah, you got to understand, J-Rock, he missed a few stages in his development. Like those Gallimore, those Ethan Smith, those those type of fights weren't there for him going into the Charlo fight. So if you knew what was up, the, the same shit repeated, himself, repeated itself with Lubin. Mm. Yeah. The same, the same shit, and I feel like, you know, the Charlos got two, two good wins off of some unprepared ass niggas. And that shit helped boost them up. Yeah, I mean, we, shit, come on, <laughs> we keeping it real. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, really, yeah, because with J Rock, I think probably the the toughest competition, the toughest opponent he probably had, in, um, before that was probably. I don't know, Freddie Hernandez, maybe, you know, before that, you know, <laughs> they, yeah, Freddie Hernandez, probably. Oh, <laughs> and, and come on, this is saying Freddie Hernandez, Berto was getting 900k to just smack up. This is saying <laughs> fucking Freddie Hernandez, 
from uh, Laura falling down. What was so box? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like <laughs> bro, come on, yeah. man. Like. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, so yeah, the, the development definitely was not there, and I, LB is right about that. But um, yeah, I mean, at least now I think he's probably more season. He, he, I think he probably is definitely gonna be a lot more season to handle hurt. It's just whether or not he has the stamina or the resistance to actually take what hurt got for him. Um, because remember, the Centio fight ended by like on some bullshit, and that was early. J Rock yeah. was way to to, to whooping Centio. Yeah, he probably would have been the first to take his zero. It wasn't, yeah, because it was a butt or something like that. Mm. Yo. Yeah, so. See, I don't even remember that shit looking all that bad, but hey, yeah, yeah, you know what? You know how it'd be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know how some niggas got to get saved. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, well, yeah, no, hopefully, like I said, you know, this fight turns out to be something good, and especially it's on Fox, too, because PBC on Fox is mostly some bullshit sometimes. This card, frankly, <laughs> is not is this, at least this is the type of card that should be on Fox. And yeah, they, they got the whole card right this time. Last time they just got the main event right. <laughs> <laughs> this time they said, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's put two good fights on. Yeah, two's better than one. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, like y'all, y'all, y'all niggas get paid too much to be d- thinking of shit like this. Like, come on. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we've come to the end of our podcast. Uh, PJ, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, outside of the fact that that uh, main event for, uh, where is how you said it? Saul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Say that name with your whole neck. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it could have been better, but it went the way I was expecting. I am kind of curious to see. It's still morbid curiosity, though, to see how long J Rock can like handle that pressure. It really isn't much. I'm still kind of caught up, still getting uh, the guys I'm training getting ready for fights, so I might be spotty again. So we'll see. That's what it is. LB, man, your final thoughts? That's what's up. See, I bring my nigga PJ on for some limited edition, special edition type shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, because Pat ain't even know. <laughs> no, 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 no. He ain't even know till today. <laughs> I was like, yo, 20 more minutes, man. My nigga PJ about to show, about to come through. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I ain't really, I ain't got much shit to say. Uh, uh, another classic show. But then whenever it's all three of us, man, like, you you know we uh we we take it to another level, but uh so yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh ringgameradio dot com. Um y'all hit us up Patreon, Podomatic, Instagram, um YouTube, uh, IG, fucking Morse code, <laughs> um, constellations, nigga, uh solar flares, um don't don't forget soul uh the soulwars.com um the Go Artist album on all uh, streaming platforms. Y'all know what to do, Shutterworth. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Yeah, and of course, this past four of the New York Representer, you know, uh, my real talk, my, my, final, and my final thoughts. Uh, my final thoughts is it is 10 minutes before I got to watch Game of Thrones. So that's my <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And Alexa, yes, yes, you know, I'm a boxer head too, but every now and then though, I gotta deviate from my boxing shit. And I, and, I, and I gotta go watch things so I can talk to the people, you know what I'm saying? And Game of Thrones is things that people will be watching. Uh, so yes. Yeah, I, I included in them people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a damn thing in that show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you know, I, I, I did get eight, eight seasons of this, so yes, yeah, so I am fully invested. So yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing in about 10 minutes or so. Um, but yes, yeah, you know, Ring Gang Radio, you know, check the website, our Instagram, our streaming platforms, Patreon, all that, just check all that out. And uh, hopefully sooner or later that you'll see one of us um, at a live event soon, you know. Uh, I think, you know, there might be a chance I might be you know, at a certain heavyweight championship fight in one month. You know, you know, so we're, we're gonna put that up in the air. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so for my, for my for, so for myself, that's Corp. You know, for LB. You know, for PJ. You know, it's been yeah. a, it's been another it's been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where as always, the shit's real. We talk about it, and uh, see y'all again soon. We out. Peace.